Hat. Welcome to Pinoy Crossover. I'm your host for tonight, Marky Mark. I hope you guys are all doing well. Before we end the show, we're going to introduce our co-host for tonight for the, what, the fourth, fifth time now in a row. Fourth time? Awesome. All right. We got Ingrid right here. How are you feeling, Ingrid? I'm good. Awesome. Nervous. He's, she's ready for the Raptors, so she got that nice <laughs> shirt right here. And over here on my left side, we got our special guest for tonight. Very welcome tonight. Elijah, how are you doing tonight? Good, good. How are you? Awesome. We're doing great. We're very, you know, we're honored to have you here as a guest because we've known, we've seen you here and then, you know, you're big on Instagram in the place and you're big in the basketball community in Canada and, and everyone has seen how you play, but no one really gets to know who you are. So here we are live at Pinoy Crossover to get to know a little bit about you. So before we start, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us, you know, how you started with basketball. How, tell us where you grew up in. Well, I grew up in Durham, Ontario, yeah. and then I started playing basketball around the age of nine. And then I didn't really take basketball seriously until I started playing in this Filipino league mm -hmm. with my team called Jayhawks. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I went from there and I just started taking basketball serious. Mm -hmm. Wow. So what really motivate you to take basketball seriously? Like, was it just, was it, were you inspired by, like, players or were you inspired by, you know, anyone in the NBA? I was mostly inspired by family, by my older brother. Because okay. at first, like, I saw I was taking the basketball serious and then my father. And then I really wanted to take the sport and do something with it. Nice. You mentioned to me that you played at the Jackson the Filipino Basketball League. How was that like for you? Like, what, what was it like playing at a basketball league for Filipinos compared to other leagues? Like, how did that, you know, shape your experience or how did that shape you as a basketball player now? Well, it, did, it played a big part of me because at first I didn't really have confidence. And then mm -hmm. me going to that Filipino League, it mm -hmm. really put some confidence into me and changed my game. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. When you, when you grew up playing basketball, like, you said that you look up to your brother, like, how did, um, how did they push you? Like, did you notice that your game that when you started playing, how did they push you to get to where you are now? What are some of the things that they kind of put you through that help you and shape you to where you are now as a player? Will my brother push you through or Filipino yeah. league? Yeah, with your brother and your, and your dad as well, yeah. Oh, well, my family pushed me through was a lot because mm -hmm. they are always by my side supporting me. Mm -hmm. And then my brother, like, he's always working out or something, mm -hmm. something basketball related. And then I felt like I should, I need the need to go do it. Mm -hmm. It was more hard on you, your brother, your dad? Yeah. I feel like my father is now. Oh, yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. How was your, um, when you were growing up watching, is there a specific player that you kind of model your game to that you watched when you were growing up? Well, mm -hmm. me still growing up as a kid, my favorite player yeah. is Kevin Durant, but wow. I, really, yeah. I really try to model my game as Kawhi Leonard Kawhi. because oh, he's 3 and D. Yeah. He can play defense, shoot the ball, and score. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And speaking of Kawhi, since like, we're here now, like, what in terms of his game that you really like, like the most about him? Like, is it the fact that he's both ends of the core? Is it his mid-range? Is it the fact that he's humble and like kind I, of... I like the fact that he's humble and that like, he plays defense and he guards the best player. He has a great deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice. Um, um, do you have any future tournaments or any type of like, you know, games that are coming up for you? Or like, what are the next steps for you now? Mm -hmm. Next up for me is I'm going to some camps in America. I'm Amazing. playing in this tournament in June 22nd called Top Gun. Mm -hmm. And then some other tournaments from then in like Vegas and so forth. Oh, yeah. nice. Best of luck. Yeah, Thank that's you. amazing. With, I mean, with all that kind of attention and scouts and, and you coming into U.S. to get that, how is it like to handle the, the expectations and, and the, the hype and, you know, being the top prospect in Canada? How is that? How does that put you through? Like, how do you feel about it? And how has that helped you? Or how has that put the challenges that you're going through to kind of be that attention and to just play your game? How does that affect you? Yeah. Well, being a top prospect is yeah. a great honor. And then it's a great, it's a big target on my back. Mm -hmm. I feel like every day I have to keep on going to the gym. So I feel like it motivates me every day to mm -hmm. do better. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and throughout your journey, like, um, who are some of the people that you've met playing through basketball that have mentored you or have given you some good advice? Like, do you remember any advice that they've given you while you're going through um, your games or tournaments that you've met and coaches that have mentored you or players that have you played against? Well, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of parents have told me to keep my head up, stay humble, and make sure I focus on my books. And mm -hmm. then someone that I met that still helps me out, out today is Coach Rowe, my AAU coach for grassroots. Mm -hmm. He's played a really big role in my, this basketball for me. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Uh, do you see yourself like playing in the U.S., you know, yeah. furthering, like, let's say, with NCAA? Yeah, I see myself going to any university that would love to have me oh, in nice. the NCAA. Right. Wow. wow, that's amazing. Do you have any specific ones? Like, yeah. don't mind us asking? I don't have any specific ones at the moment. Just okay. be grateful for anyone that offers me. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. great. Yeah. Nice Thank to you. hear. Yeah. 
um, if if I were to you know ask you in, like yourself like when you watch your game right now or when your teammates have told you playing with you uh, who did they remind you of as a player like you know is there a specific player in the NBA that they remind you of or that they you closely resemble in if you see how your game is right now a lot yeah. of people told me that I play like LeBron James mm -hmm. and some others tell me that I play like Kawhi Leonard because I play defense and I like and I play offense as well mm -hmm. and is that what you feel like your strength is in terms of as a player for your teammates like is that you feel like your strength is on the defensive or is you feel like your strength is more to get everyone involved because that's LeBron's game and then Kawhi is more like he elevates everyone on the defensive end yeah. I feel like my strength is to get everyone involved in the game mm -hmm. and just scoring and taking over the game when I need to and then playing defense. Right. Wow, that's nice. awesome. Yeah. So for the people out there, you know, you, since you are the number one prospect here in all of Canada, like, what is it that you can be able to tell other players, right, that want to follow that kind of dream that you're, like, that you're actually pursuing right now? Anyone that wants to have, like, that type of dream is just to make sure that you're having fun, because if you're having fun, then there's no point in doing it. Oh, that's good. I mean, yeah. you really are a fun guy then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun. Right? That's definitely Kawhi and, then. What about for kids out there that started the way you did, where um, they got into basketball leagues and they started being involved more in the community and they started pursuing it and realized that, you know, I want to develop on it. What about those kids out there that, you know, that look up to you and watch you play and watch you and, 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 and whether it's social media or actual tournaments? Mm -hmm. What would be your advice to them if they are? My advice to anyone that's really looking up to me is that, if you guys mm -hmm. just keep on working, keep on playing basketball, make sure, like, like again, keep on making sure you're having fun, because if it's not fun, then the sport's not for you.